genuinely thought it was impossible to be worse than season 3 episode 14, but this episode proved me wrong in all the worst ways. Hello everyone, my name is Alexa, and today it'll be the episode 18 Dispenser Camp All-Stars rant. Since we've basically been here before so many times already, I'm gonna speed through this intro. Back of which is now owned by me, it is owned by Anichi Cartoons, as well as this is my personal opinion. This video does have unpopular opinions, so I'm warning this in advance because I already can smell the comments coming my way when I reveal some of this later in the video, so do be warned of that. Additionally, I do sections of my video to maintain organization and simplicity. The oh, sections for this video are the positives, then we go on to the negatives, then the overall thoughts, and then the conclusion. Alrighty! With this out of the way, let's move right on to the positives. Ali, you'll have Ashley. Huh? Why does Allie get Ashley? Shouldn't she get Hunter? That was my friend first. With the positives, we of course gotta start off with the voice acting and animation. Stellar on both fronts as always. Great job to the voice actors and actresses for this episode, and great job to, again, the animators. As well, I really liked the idea of the challenge. I thought it was a cool idea. Better than episode 14, after all. And then I also really liked the idea at Tribal Council where they actually began to talk it out. I'm a pretty huge fan of Survivor, so getting to see that implemented in Dispenser camp for i think the first time in memory was really cool too bad it was wasted on this episode and yep there we go that's the end of the positives let's move right into the negatives the alley you'll have ashley huh why does Allie get Ashley? Shouldn't she get Hunter? That was my friend first. So when it comes to the negatives of this episode, I'm going to be starting with the characters in competition that made me the most angry to the ones that made me the least angry, and then I'll be moving on to production. So I'm going to start off with Connor. Look, I can get mad at Jake's regression. I can get mad at Allie's usual inconsistencies. I can get mad at Rhea being, well... Rhea. But Connor, this episode is a new level that I thought I couldn't get annoyed at. <laughs> so I'm going to start off with the basically most obvious thing, the fact he quit. Now, I do like the idea of the parallel of where he quits here to make Rhea lose rather than how we did in season two where he quit to make sure Rio won or at least made it further in the competition. But I don't like the execution here, because say he quit, I don't know, an episode earlier, Garrett would still be here. But also, it's the final four and how he's been built up. Let me explain with that. Because three minutes of this episode, I had to, I counted this because I was doing the edit for Dispatch Camp Allstars episode 18, and so I did the math. If you round up, 14% of just this episode in particular is Connor saying, I can do it, I can make finale, I'm gonna win. And I'm not even counting from episode 11 forward. I'm not counting any of those episodes. I don't even know how long that is, but that's probably the length at this point of at least half an episode minimum. Of just him saying, oh, I can do it, oh, and in the end... He doesn't even get eliminated the regular way, he quits. I think this could have been so much more successful if, say, he quit earlier, and also if he wasn't the most inconsistent thing in the book! I mean, every character here has their inconsistency issues, I'd argue. But I swear, Connor flip-flops between loving Rhea and hating her like it's the next nickel. He goes, I hate you, Rhea, it's war, one episode, and then the next, I love you, Rhea, let's get back together. It's like he can't choose a side. In fact, what makes me even more annoyed is how he handled the Jake and Allie situation this episode. During this episode, he continuously gets annoyed that Jake and Allie are fighting. The main reason for this is how Allie thinks that Jake ruined her game. Her little makeshift game. Which Connor realizes was a trick from Rhea. Now you'd think maybe Connor would, well, tell Allie or Jake this. Well, why tell them this when you cannot tell them that? I mean, that seems like a much better strategy. Even though if he told them, they probably wouldn't have fought as much because they fully trust and think that he's the best. So they probably would have believed him and have stopped fighting. But no, he has to decide, you know, I'm not going to tell anyone for no reason explained in the show. Here's my personal theory. I think he deep down still loves Rhea and refuses to admit it, so he didn't ruin her plan just because he wants to view her as still smart. I mean, he called it smart, so he just left it be because of that. That's literally the only in-universe explanation I can make for this. And even then, if that is the case, it's flippin' annoying! Otherwise, there's really not much more to say because that's basically all Connor is in this episode. He quits, he gets mad at people, 
people for fighting ex- without telling them to fight any reason, and then he just kind of leaves. Overall, I'm just going to say Connor the season was cool at times. I liked when he was come back. I liked how they gave him more character. But ever since episode 14, oh dear gosh, some things with this character are just not my personal cup of tea, though he was one of the better ones. But that's not saying much considering how bad some of the past episodes has been. So, yeah. Moving on to Jake. Jake is just disappointed me at this point. This just disappointed me. I have watched 18 episodes. 18 episodes of him trying to be developed every single time. And let me make this clear. Regression is probably natural in this type of arc. Probably making it more realistic. But the thing is, that's what I've seen the defense for this, like, Jake derailment type thing. But my thing is, that's already happened! I'm not saying you can't just regress once and oh, it's done for. He's regressed in total, I think, like six times over the past few seasons. Six! We did not need it this late into the game, and especially after he had had meaningful development between Jake and Aiden. Like, that was a main thing, where he was able to get less paranoid with Aiden. It was a nice development. It was showing character growth. It was showing character development. And though I kept to the side because I'm, like, just waiting for that one mess up, I really did appreciate that. I thought it was really cool. And he wasn't that horrible. And even in the negatives in these videos, I have not said many bad things about Jake, I would argue. But here, oh dear gosh, why have character development for 18 episodes when you can just feed Rhea some plot armor? Why, why, why? Because here, all of Jake's developments gets yeeted out the window. Being able to tolerate people for gameplay reasons and being able to deal with them? <laughs> what do you mean? That never happened. Because he is the literal reason that Rhea is still in game because he decided, ha ha, Allie. And look, if he's doing this for revenge on the bear, that makes sort of sense. But they never say it. All he says is, ha ha, take that, you little scumbag. And it comes out of flippin' nowhere. <sighs> okay. And then he continues talking with Connor and was like, I don't know, you just wake Allie more than me. Excuse me? What? They've had one interaction from your knowledge, like one or two, and you are what? Jealous already? I swear! Has these past few episodes, has this, I think it's been like a canon month in the show, taught you nothing? I swear. Why? Can he just keep his development here? I did really laugh when you said Han was really annoyed that Allie got Ashley instead of him. But why was he that jealous over it? I don't know. I found it funny, though, so I guess there's that. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Jake's gameplay this episode was also actually decent, as y'all pointed out to me. Allie, in his mind, is the, his actual biggest threat. Because Connor is hopping around on one foot, and Rhea, no one likes Rhea. They're all going to sabotage her. They're all going to make sure she loses. Even the villains don't really like her that much. So, in the end... It's a big threat, and so he's trying to get her out. But why couldn't this be framed into more of a strategic move? Barely any of these characters have shown much strategic prowess, except if you're Rhea, which I'll get into that in a bit, because her gameplay in this episode was actually really stupid. But <laughs> if you form this as a gameplay, if you showed he wants Allie to lose, for gameplay reasons, that would make more sense. It would actually add on to his character development. But no, he's just got to be a petty person like he has been this entire season at the time. Oh my gosh. With Jake out of the way, we can now move on to Allie. And I'm just gonna say it, Allie is the biggest idiot this episode. How? How do you believe that Jake's hair tie and Jake destroyed it when you literally watched Jake take out his hair? Okay. Put it around Connor's foot. You watched that. She watched that. And I did not want to hear, but, but she was distracted because she was sad. She was right there staring as it happened, watching it. I do not care. She saw it. She is just, I don't know why she was being stupid there. And especially it was later in the episode where she was able to do the uh, Ashley belt trick later on. That was actually impressive. But that all becomes overshadowed by the fact that that stupid plan and the reason she hates him again is such an innocent thing. And also, if they were trying to make her more sympathetic this episode, it did not work on me. Maybe it's because of my pure and ultra hatred for Allie since, like, episode 14. But in the end, this didn't work because it's so inconsistent. The past few episodes, she's been like, I don't care what others think. I don't care at all. I'm doing my own way. I'm a villain now. Ha ha. Or something like that. And now here, she's just like... I care what others think, but, but I'll become Rhea. When she's literally acted like Rhea, become friends with Rhea, and I'm not even mentioning last episode where she like randomly's like, Rhea never cared for me. When that never developed! Again, that's more of an episode 17 thing, but still, it continues here for no reason. I guess it'd be more inconsistent if it was otherwise, but 
I did think that Allie and Connor interaction was kind of sweet, but from the inconsistencies from Allie, it kind of made me annoyed because I'm like, oh my gosh, this isn't Allie. The gaming references were fine, I don't know. I don't game enough to really know them, so I guess that's it. I still think she's sort of ripping up Ellie, but you know what? Ellie isn't this inconsistent, so I guess there's that. Her strategy this episode was fine. I mean, she didn't really try much except make allies with Connor. You know, if she had actually tried to maybe work Rhea a little bit, I don't know. But in the end, Allie was more like her earlier self in the season, where she was trying to get over her insecurity. She was likable, she was rootable, because now I am praying on her downfall till the bitter end, because I do not like her villain development. I do not want her to win. More than Rhea, actually. I hope Allie loses so much more. <laughs> I'm sorry. But moving on to Rhea, actually, she was fine this episode. She was just incredibly annoying to me. And I think her plan with the Jake thing was absolutely stupid. Didn't she notice how Allie literally appeared right after Connor Jake had put her, his hair tie around Connor's foot? Doesn't she think a little bit that Allie might have saw that seen saw <laughs> seen this? Like, don't you think even the little bit? And even so, why does she have that in her pocket? Did she just go hunting for this? I I, I just. How did she notice it fall? During the episode, to me, I didn't see her notice it at all. She didn't even see it. So she was just hunting for something of Jake's. Put it in her pocket, which I think is already weird already. But in the end, I don't even see. She could have done so many other things. And it's just because Allie is an idiot and Connor is a simp. That is the only reason this worked, in my opinion. So I guess they got their character role for Rhea's sake. And Rhea tried to show a little bit of sympathy, but I also really, truly do not understand why she was like, she went to Connor like, ha ha, continuously, because like, He's already down and out. His leg is broken. He's hopping around. He He's already too down. You're not... It's... Why would you do this? Why would you push that even more? I don't get it. And then she just looks away guiltily. You That wasn't required for any form of strategy. That wasn't required to maintain her villainous personality. None of that was required. So to me, it just makes Rhea look worse of a person. If I'm meant to believe that deep down she's a better person... Why would she be doing something like this to where it doesn't benefit her villainous persona? It doesn't benefit her strategy either because you're just making someone hate you even more. I, I don't get it. I, I genuinely cannot see it. So, yeah, that's Rhea. And now on to the production. yippee Kaye. yay <laughs> Crystal was fine. Part of me is still like, why would she not give the hosting gig to say... Oliver or say Marcus and Nina, but as y'all explained, it's probably because Derek actually has experience. I still don't see why she wouldn't give it much to Oliver, but either way, that does make a little sense, so I guess I can back off of that. But here comes the Trebek shippers wanting to knock my door down and hunt me down. I hate the ship. Oh dear gosh, I only really saw it mostly as friends, and I thought it was nice to see Derek have a crush, and I thought it made sense, because even from the earlier episodes in season one, it was always Trevor who made the advances. And here's my personal issue with this. Trevor isn't inherently out of character to me, is inherently bad. What makes me mad is Derek's reaction. First off, Crystal and Derek, to me, haven't really stated what their relationship is now. I know at the end of episode 12, they said it was a fling, but not only has Derek been shown to keep giving Crystal flowers, they've just been, I don't know. I really don't know in that sense, which makes me a lot more iffy on this. I, it, it would just, I hope someone, I hope one of the creators or at least one of the writers comes out and confirms something like this, but maybe it'll be confirmed later in the episodes. I don't even know at this point, but my issue is how Derek kiss back. Now, because there has been no development to this. There is A, but no development to his apology. B, but no development to Derek's feelings towards Trevor. Derek has only shown pure platonicness towards Trevor, and that is consistent throughout basically every episode, I would say, of season one, and also DCAS where we have seen him. There has been no development to him also having feelings for Trevor. If they he does, then show it! Develop it! Please! Because, and as is, it makes it feel that Derek's being a little out of character. Because, yes, he cares for him platonically. I'm not about to deny that. <laughs> but what I am saying is there's been no development for also the apology. And if he's been having this internal struggle where he's been worried about this the entire time, why not make that a plotline for him? If you're willing to give Tre Trevor a plotline, I'm per se, say that Derek deserves to have a complex plotline like that. It could be extremely interesting. And you can still have his crystal fling romance thing. You can 
still have that, but at this point, Derek gets more complexity. You develop whatever this is, and it makes more sense. To me, it partially ruined. Maybe that's a little too far, but to me, it's practically just taking away Derek's character just to do the plot, what the plot wants. In the end, it makes sense that he didn't want to give him the firing note, but uh, part of me feels like this was just done for more drama, which do we have enough already? I guess not. And then we've got Emily and Trevor in the back seat here. Emily is fine. I mean, she got literally basically no screen time, so I think it's pretty hard to make her out of character. But I guess Trevor being protective of Derek was kind of nice. I mean, it makes sense. But in the end, he also says he really just cared for Emily as a friend. So eh. I kind of felt a little harsh, but in the end, it is Derek. I mean, oh my gosh, Derek he's talking about. So yeah, I guess that makes sense. Now moving on to the overall thoughts of this episode. Oh my gosh. Allie, you'll have Ashley. Huh? Why does Allie get Ashley? Shouldn't she get Hunter? That was my friend first. Overall, I want this episode to go burn in a fire. Though there was some cool concepts and overall ideas here, I just feel like a lot of the inconsistencies with the characters, the no development, the throwing away just for the shocking eliminations, and also the fact that if Connor quit an episode earlier, Greg would be here and I would actually have someone to root for in the final three, because quite frankly, I want none of these people to win. And especially three million dollars? Dang, I don't want any of them to. But at this point, I'd rather it be Jake or Rhea, because Rhea's ending could be incredibly interesting, and Jake, well, I never thought I'd be saying this, but he's the most enjoyable out of the final three, so uh, there's that. I really hope they can get his development back on track for episode 19, episode 20, and episode 21, if he makes it there, that is. <laughs> um, but what we will see, but in the end, I am praying that the next few episodes are actually good in quality, because I really want to make another episode analysis soon, but I haven't have been able to because these episodes have been that bad. I have faith in the motel episode, though. That might be too early, but I, I mean, it's the motel episode. Come on, y'all. <laughs> Anyways, let's move on right on to the conclusion. Allie, you'll have Ashley. Huh? Why does Allie get Ashley? Shouldn't she get Hunter? That was my friend first. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really do appreciate it. As well, I would love to read your personal thoughts on both the episode and even the video in the comments down below. As well, I hope you have an awesome day slash night, and I hope to see you again on the channel. Bye, everybody!